Hi guys, this is Dr. MK and welcome to Ultimate Organic Chemistry. Guys, today I am going to discuss aromatic electrophilic substitution reaction which is otherwise known as electrophilic aromatic substitution reaction. So I am going to use only basic concepts in this video which means I am going to explain what you mean by an electrophile and what is the mechanism involved in, uh, in this electrophilic aromatic substitution reaction and what is the energy profile diagram involved in this reaction and finally I am going to explain what are the types of aromatic electrophilic substitution reaction which will be useful to class 11, class 12, NEET, IIT, JEE, BSc students, even MSc and PGTRB candidates also it will be very much useful. So do watch the video without skipping. Okay, shall we start? Okay, before going to the reaction part, I would like to discuss what you mean by an electrophile. Okay, the term itself, it is mentioned that electro plus file. Electro, the term denotes electrons which is carrying negative charge and file, it is defined as liking. Okay, so in short, electrophile is nothing but electrons liking species okay so electrophile needs basically electrons if it needs electron means it should have electron deficiency then only it can accept a pair of electron okay so the electron deficiency is denoted with electrophile e means electrophile which is carrying positive charge that means electron deficiency then only it can accept a pair of electrons so this is how electrophile is denoted okay right so scientifically what do you mean by electrophile if it is asked means it is defined as a pair of electron acceptor okay so for example if a compound b having a pair of electron means a lone pair electron is present when it reacts with an electrophile it will give its electron because it is not having electrons okay so as a result it will form a new bond B with electrophile okay so since this compound B has donated a pair of electron to electrophile it is bearing a positive charge so this is a basic definition of an electrophile so the next thing is it should have a vacant orbital so what do you mean by a vacant orbital for example if any species wants to accept a pair of electron means that orbital should be empty then only it can accept the pair of electron right so in the same case applies to electrophile also so it should have a vacant orbital so then the compound b gives a pair of electrons to the electrophile so it forms the corresponding the bond formation so you need to understand that that electrophile should have a vacant orbital then only it can accept a pair of electron the third thing is uh, it can be cationic or neutral in nature so this is going to be very important because the questions were asked in neat examination based on this uh, concepts only okay so the electrophile can be classified into two types one is cationic another one is neutral electrophile so what are the examples of cationic electrophile that is H plus simply you can say H plus which is defined as proton okay so you can have other example that is nitronium ion NO2 plus you can have chlorine Cl plus and you can have Br plus you can have CH3 plus that is carbocation also okay so this type of uh, species are said to be cationic electrophile they are having positive charge so what do you mean by neutral electrophile so we have uh, some example for this that is BF3 boron trifluoride and you can have SO3 sulfur trioxide I think this question was asked in neat examination please remember so what is the other neutral electrophile means you can say AlCl3 aluminium trichloride even you can say carbene so CH2 having two electrons so this is said to be carbene please remember so these type of species do not have any charges and they have vacant orbitals and they can accept a pair of electron easily and they are said to be neutral electrophile so you need to be very careful between cationic and neutral electrophile so now 
having this basic concepts uh, let us go to the reaction part so what do you mean by electrophilic aromatic substitution reaction in short it is written as s e a r s yes stands for substitution e stands for electrophilic and a r stands for aromatic so let us have the basic reaction when benzene is reacting with an electrophile which is carrying a positive charge it will lead to the formation of this substituted product basically what is happening this e group is attaching with benzene ring as a result this hydrogen is leaving okay so hydrogen is leaving as h plus and e plus is attaching so this is also electrophilic in nature h plus also it is said to be electrophile so one cationic species is replaced by another cationic species so this cationic species this is also cation is replaced by another cation okay so replaced means you can say that is substitution so this type of reaction is called a substitution reaction what is substituting you have to say electrophile is substituting okay where the substitution is taking place that substitution is taking place it in aromatic compounds so that is why it is said to be aromatic electrophilic substitution reaction so through that process a cation is replacing another cation simply you can say so let us understand the mechanism part so if you happen to check the mechanism initially that pi electrons Okay, benzene is rich in electron because it has uh, six pi electrons. So that pi electron attacking this electrophile, okay, through this carbon atom. So it lead to the formation of this type of intermediate. Since this carbon atom has donated electron to this electrophile, a positive charge is generated, right? So this is said to be a sigma complex. So, if you happen to check this structure, the neighboring carbon atoms having pi bonds, okay, when a carbocation or carbonion or free radical is present and next to that, if you have a pi bond means definitely a resonance will be taking place. So, this pi bond will easily move towards this carbocation. As a result, it will form this type of resonance intermediate. So, since this carbon is giving electron to this carbon, a positive charge is generated. So now next to that you have one more pi bond. So this pi bond will be migrating towards this carbon atom. As a result, it will lead to the formation of this resonance form. Right. So this carbon atom has donated electron to this carbon atom. So positive charge is generated because this carbon atom does not have any electron. So this sigma complex can undergo resonance stabilization. Right. So this can be written like this. Okay. So if you happen to uh, give the resonance hybrid, hybrid means mixing. So I am mixing all the resonance structure and I am going to give in only one form that is said to be resonance hybrid. So this is called a resonance hybrid. So where the electron is uh, migrating, the electron is migrating from this carbon to until this carbon atom okay so you need to put a dotted line from this carbon to this carbon right so in between this carbon atom the the positive charge is shifting on different carbon atoms okay, so you need to give positive charge that means the positive charge is delocalizing from this carbon to this carbon by the transfer of pi electrons so this is said to be a resonance hybrid so this is also an important thing i think this can be also be asked in neat examination so coming to the uh, rate of the reaction the first step this is a first step so this is a slow step because during the course of the uh, reaction that benzene ring is aromatic in nature aromatic means it is stable okay so during the course of the reaction, the aromaticity is lost by the reaction, reaction with electrophile, right? So it, it goes to stable system to less stable system. So let us go to the second step. Once this intermediate has formed, so this is undergoing uh, that, that formation of the aromatic compound. How it is taking place? For example, this electron is coming 
and it is giving to this carbon atom and a new bond is generated here okay so hydrogen is giving its electron to this carbon atom and it is leaving as hydrogen positive charge so this step is fast in nature okay because aromaticity is regenerating that means the stability it is gained actually so this step is fast in nature and this is about the final product in this reaction this is a very simple mechanism okay now let us discuss what is the energy profile diagram of uh, SEAR reaction so uh, let us discuss this graph you take x-axis that is a reaction coordinate that is progress of reaction and in y-axis you can take energy okay so if you check that uh, that energy profile diagram this is a given energy profile diagram and here you have reactant which is higher in energy and this this is products which is lower in energy so then only the process will be very spontaneous so initially what is happening that is i said already that this electron is approaching the electrophile right so when it is approaching it will lead to the formation of a transition state okay what do you mean by a transition state i said that already so this bond is broken and a new bond is formed between the carbon and electrophile you can check the here in this bond is broken and the new bond is forming okay so this is said to be transition state one okay ts1 so once it is formed immediately the bond formation will be taking place and it will lead to the formation of the intermediate which I discussed before that is basically it is giving electron and a new bond is forming and new bond is breaking simultaneously it is taking place and it will lead to the formation of transition state once it is formed means that, that complete bond formation is taking place between carbon and electrophile and this carbon carbon bond double bond is broken to single bond which is leading to the formation of this carbocation so next thing is this hydrogen has to come here and it will lead to the formation of product so what will happen simultaneously the sigma bond is breaking and simultaneously the pi bond is forming it will lead to the formation of this transition state which is said to be transition state 2 okay remember so why it is forming because we have the anion part this anion is taking this hydrogen uh, which is leaving as H plus okay so now the simultaneously bond breaking and new bond formation is taking place which will lead to the formation of the final product okay right so if you check that uh, the transition state so energy of this reactant and this is the energy of transition state okay so if you compare this energy so this is said to be energy of activation one that is the energy required to form this transition state one it is said to be energy of activation one so now from intermediate to product if you check this energy of this transition state so from this to this this is energy of activation two so it requires minimum energy right so in SEAR reaction you can say that in general energy of activation 1 is higher and energy of activation 2 is lower in nature. So now you can compare with the rate of the reaction which I discussed before. So what I said here the first step I said that is slow step that means if it is slow means it needs more energy to attain the transition state okay so so the energy is higher right so the second step i said which is faster in nature so if it is faster means you can give less energy once you give less energy means it will lead to the formation of the final product so it, it has low energy of activation so that is the explanation you can correlate with the rate and this uh, uh, energy profile diagram so this is about the basic thing of uh, uh, that is aromatic electrophilic substitution reaction okay now let us have some examples what are the types of aromatic electrophilic substitution reaction right so now when benzene is uh, reacting under the uh, condition that is SEAR reaction means uh, based on that NEAT and JE standard I have classified into five types that is uh, first thing is you must know what is the reagent involved and what is the product formation uh, mean involved during the course of the reaction what is the electrophile involved and what is the name of the reaction that I am going to discuss with the five different types okay so in the first case when it reacts with concentrated nitric acid and sulfuric acid it will lead to the formation of nitrobenzene so the electrophile involved is NO2 plus which is said to be nitronium ion the name of the reaction is nitration so in the second reaction that is sulfur trioxide with uh, sulfuric acid so it is otherwise known as fuming sulfuric acid so 
you can give this reagent or instead of that they can give only concentrated sulfuric acid they can give this reagent system also or they can give one more reagent system that is oleum okay this is said to be h2 s2 o7 so if any of the three reagent system is given means that uh, that reaction is known as sulfonation reaction so it will lead to the formation of benzene sulfonic acid benzene sulfonic acid so electrophile involved is h so3 plus okay so this question is so much important it can be asked okay, so the reaction name is sulfonation right so we have another example there in which uh, that bromine is reacting with anhydrous ferric brom bromide okay so this reaction is said to be bromination and lead to the formation of bromobenzene so the electrophile involved is br plus that is bromonium ion okay, so if you want to chlor do chlorination means you can use cl2 with fecl3 it will lead to the formation of chlorobenzene the electrophile involved is chloronium ion that is cl plus okay so this reaction is said to be bromination in short, you can call it is as halogenation. So we have another example. These two examples are so much important because in recent NEET examination, the questions were asked. Okay, the first reaction that is uh, reacting with uh, methyl chloride in the presence of anhydrous AlCl3, and it will lead to the formation of toluene. So the electrophile involved is methyl cation. The name of the reaction is Friedel Craft. alkylation okay so i'm not going to discuss any mechanism here so in future videos i'm going to discuss uh, each topic okay with proper ex explanation and mechanism the final uh, reaction that is the reaction with uh, uh, that is acetyl chloride this is said to be acetyl chloride okay in the presence of anhydrous alcl3 and it will lead to the formation of acetophenone So the electrophile involved is CH3, single bond C, triple bond O, positive charge. It can be given like this or sometimes it can be given like this also CH3, C and uh, double bond O where the positive charge is present. Okay. So what is happening basically oxygen lone pair is undergoing resonance and as a result of this a triple bond is formed so you can give either this electrophile or this electrophile both are correct only okay so this reaction is known as fiddle crafts acetylation okay so since acetyl chloride is used you have to say this is acetylation and generally if any r co Cl that is any acid chloride is given means you have to call it as acylation okay so acylation is the general term suppose acetyl chloride is given means you have to say that is Fiddlecraft acetylation so guys hope you understood the basic concepts of aromatic electrophilic substitution reaction if you feel the video is very much useful to you you can give a like you can share with your friends and please do not forget to subscribe the channel and in the upcoming video, I'm going to discuss what do you mean by ortho meta para director and what is the role in aromatic electrophilic substitution reaction. Because this topic is going to be a crucial one. So many questions were asked and it can be asked in the future also. So keep watching. Until then, take care. Bye.